Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover five ways to grow potatoes in a really small space. So if you live in an apartment or a small house and don't have a backyard and don't have access to open ground, you can use all of these methods to grow potatoes. And I'm going to be experimenting with this and see how many potatoes we actually get. So first I'm using this fence picket box. It's two by two, so it's four square feet. This is the plastic bag I get when I buy chicken feed. So as you know, recycle is not really being recycled. So I'm going to be using this to grow potatoes and I want to reuse all these plastic bags in some sort so they don't end up in landfill. I'll be using this cardboard box to grow potatoes too. It's uh, two feet long and one feet wide, so it's two square feet. So these containers are about eight inches tall and these ones are actually really narrow and these ones are wider. They're about 14 inches wide, eight inches tall. So let's see what we can do with them. Well, first I'm filling the containers with some potting soil. Next, I'm adding some coconut core. Now this retains moisture and it's very useful to grow vegetables in containers because containers dry out very quickly. So it's very essential to maintain the moisture in your containers and coconut core helps to do so. Next, I'm using 442 chicken manure fertilizer. I'm doing half a handful in small ones and a handful in a bigger one. Next, I'm adding some sulfur to make the soil acidic because potatoes like acidic soil. They like about 5.5 to 6.0 pH in the soil. So a little bit of elemental sulfur helps to lower the pH level of soil. Then I'm mixing the potting soil and everything in the containers. I'm doing the same for the wooden box, the cardboard box, and the plastic bag. Since the wooden box is four square feet, I'm adding four times the amount of fertilizer and sulfur in the wooden box, and two times the amount of sulfur and fertilizer in the cardboard box because the cardboard box is two square feet. Next, I'm planting a red potato in the cardboard box and two white potatoes as well. I'm mixing the content of the wooden box and I'm planting a red potato and two white potatoes in the wooden box as well. So I'm going to plant one potato each in these small ones. And I'm planting my potatoes about two inches deep. And I'm planting three potatoes in these larger containers. And the next step is to add iron phosphate right on top of these containers. Now we do have slug and earwig problems. So this iron phosphate helps to eliminate slugs and earwigs. And it also helps to add iron into the soil as well. And now it's time to water, keep them moist and watch them grow. It's been three weeks and the potatoes have started growing. So let's first check our bag of potatoes and there are two potato plants coming out of there, pretty good. Well, from here, there's two strong plants and the third one is coming out as well. So that's been pretty good. The potatoes in cardboard box are working and then potatoes in this wooden box are coming along as well. There are lots of potato plants that are coming out so each chit actually produces this shoot so that's why there are a lot more shoots than potatoes the potatoes have already started growing in the wider containers however the smaller containers have yet to see potatoes growing out of them they are getting water however they're not doing as well as the wider ones not sure why it's been six weeks and the potatoes are doing really well well here are the potatoes in the bag and they're doing pretty good. Looks like we're gonna get some potatoes out of them. The cardboard box is doing really well, actually much better than what I expected. So I'm looking forward to having the harvest from this cardboard box. And the rest of the potatoes are also doing really good. Well, the little ones are also producing potatoes as well. They started appearing about a month after planting. Now it's been six weeks and they're doing pretty good. The growth is looking really healthy after six weeks. So it's been two and a half months and all of these potato plants did really good in these containers except for the small one. So we'll see how many potatoes we actually get from the smaller ones as well. The plants did get stopped out by frost. We got early frost and it burned the plant. So it's time to harvest and let's see how many potatoes we get from each one of these containers. And I'm going to keep the harvest separated by container and let's compare how many potatoes we get from each one of these containers. There you go. Oh, there are quite a few potatoes in here. Not a big size. But these are some nice potatoes. Wow. There are quite a few potatoes in there. This plastic bag is not a bad idea. 
great way to recycle material and also produce lots of good potatoes. Oh, there's a big one right there. Next up, the cardboard box. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my, there's so many potatoes in the cardboard box. Oh, wow. Check it out. They just keep coming out. Whoa. Look at these. So many potatoes. Oh, I did plant some red potatoes in there too. Check it out. Whoa. Whoa. This cardboard box is a great idea. All right. Let's check this one out. Whoa. This might be the winner. This might be the winner. Look at this. Look at this. Potatoes upon potatoes upon potatoes. That's the original potato. Pretty rotten. Oh, there's another one. Next up, the wood box. So, let's get into the irrigation. And let's pull these plants. Whoa! Look at these. Whoa, the red one. So I planted all sorts of potatoes in there, red ones and, whoa, check this out. Is this the winner? Is this wooden box? Oh, they are much bigger in here too. Whoa, check this out. Whoa, look at these. Potatoes upon potatoes. Look at, look at all these potatoes. There are just a lot of potatoes in there. Whoa, look at this one. <laughs> okay, let me pile them all here. Whoa. There are a lot of potatoes in here. This is how you know your soil is doing fantastic when you have earthworms like this in your soil. Well, let's check out potatoes from these two containers. I'm only using harvest from each one of these, not both of the containers that I grew on, that I grew my potatoes in. Oh, these ones grew quite a few potatoes too. Much smaller, but the potatoes are there. Oh, there's a bigger one. So there are quite a few potatoes in here actually. So there's, see, the potato plant is getting root bound here. So there wasn't enough space to grow potatoes in here. Yeah, the whole plant is root bound. Still has quite a few potatoes actually. So if you are short on space in your home, on your balcony, you can actually use this kind of container to grow potatoes. It works, look at this. Okay, let's check out this one, the smallest one. All right, I see a potato right there. Okay, so there aren't any potatoes down here. So they gotta be in here if there are any. Okay, so this is, I was gonna say a failure, but we got a good potato, good sized potato from here too. Not very many potato, just only two or three, barely equalizing what I planted. So, so this kind of container is not really good for growing potatoes at all. Okay, so that's it for this one. So the smallest container grew 0.3 pounds of potatoes, which is 140 grams of potatoes. And this is just about half a square feet of space. So multiply that by two, you get about 0.6 pounds or 280 grams of potatoes per square feet. The wider container grew 1.7 pounds of potatoes, which is about 0.75 kilograms. The plastic bag grew 1.5 pounds of potatoes, which is 0.68 kilograms. The cardboard box grew 4.1 pounds of potatoes, which is 1.86 kilograms. And the wooden box grew 5.6 pounds of potatoes, which is 2.5 kilograms. However, the wooden box is four square feet, so this comes out to be 1.4 pounds of potatoes per square feet. And the cardboard box is two square feet, which comes out to be two pounds of potatoes per square feet. So here are the results. I got the container name, 
the total amount of harvest and harvest per square feet for each container. And cardboard box outperformed all other containers and actually produced two pounds of potatoes per square feet. So for optimal growth, the wooden box had the surface area, but not the depth. And the plastic bed had the depth and not the surface area. However, the cardboard box has the best ratio of depth to surface area. So what this tells us is that you need a good size container to grow your potatoes. You need a container that is at least six inches deep, that's the minimum. If you get a container that's eight to 12 inches deep, that's perfect, that's ideal. The container needs to be two feet long and one feet wide. It has to have at least two square feet of space. That is ideal. And if you have four square feet of space and a little bit of depth up to eight inches, that's even better. However, if you do live in a balcony or a very small space and you do want to use a small container like this one, which is about eight inches deep and does have about one and a half square feet of space, that is still really good to grow your potatoes and you can grow potatoes in these as well. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.